Okay, we are going to solve this congruence right here. And notice that they all look pretty similar. And remember, solve a congruence means that we are going to get x by itself on one side, and then the other one has to be a whole number. And remember, whole numbers only, okay? And anyway, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, when you are doing this kind of questions, be sure you do them really, really carefully. Let's start with the first one. We have 4x is congruent to 8 mod 5. Well, in this case, this is actually just as easy as solving a regular equation. We can legitimately divide both sides by 4 because, let me just write this down for you guys, the greatest common divisor between 4, which is the number that we're dividing on both sides, and this number, which is, well, modding 5, right? This right here, if the greatest common factor is equal to 1, we can do so, okay? We can divide 4 on both sides. And you see, this and that will be cancelled here, and you will have x is congruent to 8 divided by 4. It needs no introduction, which is just 2. And of course, you keep writing down the mod 5. And this right here is it. And usually, we want to have this number to be less than this number. And of course, keep it as positive as possible. But anyway, x is congruent to 2, mod 5. Done. Next, we have 4x is congruent to 2, mod 5. Well, in this case, we cannot just divide by 4 on both sides because 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. And remember, we are not doing fractions or decimal in the congruence world. So now we have to think about this carefully. Here, hmm, it's 4x. The deal is, we can do 4 mod 5. 4 mod 5. 4 is just pretty much smaller than 5 right, by 1. So you can just do 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. So this right here is just going to be negative 1x. And then you can maintain the mod 2. I mean the congruent to 2, and then mod 5. This is legit because you can look at the 4x as 5x minus 1x, right? And you see, 5x, that's always going to be a multiple of 5. And in the mod 5 world, this right here is going to be 0. So you just get negative 1x, and this is congruent to 2 mod 5, okay? And now, we can divide both sides by negative 1. So this is also legit, right? So change the sign on both sides is okay. We can look at this as multiply both sides by negative 1, same thing. And you get x is congruent to negative 2 mod 5. And as I said, we want to keep this number as positive as possible, Right? The x is by itself already. So this is what we can do. Starting from negative 2 and just add 5 to it, which you get 3. So this right here is the same as saying x is congruent to 3 mod 5. We are done. And lastly, we have 4x is congruent to 3 mod 5. Well, I will leave this to you guys to think about it because you can just use the first one and the second one, just make some combinations of them, you know, just combine both methods or things like that. This right here should be pretty easy for you guys, okay? So, I am done.